Well, with all the military activity along the low country and coastal empire dating back to the colonial days, many explosives have gotten lost in our area over the years. So one newer weapons was found just last week. This live from along the Savannah River. Yeah, Shay, what came up out of the water this time? Well, Sam, Jessica, according to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, they found what's called an unexploded ordnance. That could be a bomb or some other sort of military weapon. Now, they say it all started when somebody was dredging the area of the entrance of the Savannah River Channel and came across the device. That person reported it to the Coast Guard, who ended up calling in several other agencies, including the Army Corps of Engineers, the Savannah Bomb Squad, and the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit from the Marine Corps Air Station in Beaufort. When it was discovered that the device was indeed some sort of unexploded military weapon. The explosive ordnance disposal unit took over, transporting the device to a safe place by boat with a Coast Guard escort, keeping a 200 yard safety zone around it. Now, according to them, they disposed of it at the Townsend bombing range, which is located in Long County. Now, disposing of weapons like that is exactly what that unit is there for. They never know when they might be called to action because there's just no way of knowing how many unexploded exploded weapons are out there just waiting to be found. Now, perhaps the most famous unfound weapon in our area is the Tybee bomb. That's the atomic bomb that was dropped off the coast in 1958 and was never found. The 65th anniversary of that nuclear weapon being lost is coming up this Sunday. On the News at 6, we'll have a look at the history of the infamous incident. Reporting on Tybee Island, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.